I started a Facebook group about 3am, the night the riots happened. Uh, I went to bed about 20 to 6 after emailing all newspapers and people. And I woke up in the morning with about 400 people joined. And then it's about 1,000 now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah creates an event. Um, just clean up Woolwich, Lewisham, Twitter, Woolwich areas. Facebook. They blame Send all the social. Yeah. yeah, they blame the social media, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the social yeah, media. Yeah. Well, we don't want to be stereotypes or normal use. We're interested in making a difference and showing that not uh, everybody are thieves and looters. That we care about our community. We knew we knew it was happening, but there's nothing we could have done. So we came in yesterday morning and. Um, well, we tried to, you know. Yeah, um, but we couldn't. We couldn't do much. They've broken the shutters. They've broken all the glass. And as you can see, all the thing is mashed up. So I decided to come out today because um, I think it's important that if people want a sense of community, they create a sense of community. That not everybody feels disenfranchised. And I want to be part of something that um, shows people that you know, when you contribute, you get back. And I'm not talking about financial gain, I'm talking about having a sense of pride in yourself and the way you live. But I think it's important to show that you're willing to um, be there and clean up. I was making calls to find cleaners and whatever, but this is the best thing that could have happened, definitely. Yeah, very good. A lot of the media is saying that, you know, it's a lot of the young people are to blame for all of it happening so I'm not surprised that a lot of the youths and all the communities start to come together that have nothing to do with it and start to show that you know they're involved in the community and they don't feel you know disengaged from the government and stuff like that so it is really helpful as well.